Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. Welcome back to my studio. This is painting number two called Minds Made Up for Thrown in the Deep End of the Miracle Life Project. Uh, this project was created by fellow artist and mom to Tigo, Rinska Dauna. Rinska and I had a very natural connection being fluid artists and fellow NICU moms. And I find that connections with others that have been through similar experiences it's very powerful, it's very healing, so I'm very grateful for my new friendship with Rinska. It means a lot. Uh, as I mentioned before, my twin fraternal girls, they were born at 28 weeks gestation at the Sacred Heart NICU in Spokane, Washington. They weighed 2 pounds 12 ounces and 2 pounds 13 ounces. Thrown in the deep end to me is all about letting go of control and actually even the ability to embrace the chaos. Uh, even when your mind is made up, things might not always go as planned. The beautiful contrast and colors come to life for a baby right around the age of five months. So I'm hoping that the baby can gaze at this painting at that age and find some calm and serenity and even a bit of excitement in this painting and uh, for the parents I want it to just be a reminder that life is not always organized it doesn't always go as planned even when we are sort of thrown into something that is unexpected uh, but the outcome can be very beautiful I'm going to go ahead and show you this painting and tell you more about my journey and my story with my girls and with my family and I really look forward to sharing more and more throughout this project. It's been really powerful and healing for me personally already. So I'm really excited of what's to come. And I'll get you onto this uh, 24 by 36 inch canvas and we'll see what happens. When we found out at seven weeks we were having twins, the feeling is hard to describe. Honestly, I was terrified. I had no idea how this was going to work. The pregnancy, bringing them home with our two-year-old strong-willed daughter, all of it was really overwhelming. So after about three weeks, we were getting used to the idea. At that point, I could not imagine a life without both of these babies. Uh, it was really a process of letting go and accepting the new reality and the trust between myself and my amazing husband. At 20 weeks, I started having Braxton Hicks contractions. I knew right away something was different. I had been getting checked frequently. Sure enough, at the next check, I was already one centimeter dilated. Uh, the writing was on the wall that these babies were going to arrive early. The question was how early? We talked in depth to a specialist about everything that could happen in the coming months. My goal was to carry them to 34 weeks. Uh, the fetal medicine doctor, he was amazing. I could call on him day or night. So fast forward at 27 weeks, we were thrown in the deep end. Uh, it was 3 a.m. and I'd been having frequent contractions for about three weeks. <laughs> um, they were not productive, but this early morning, something felt different. Um, I had, luckily I had the been in true labor before with my first, so I, I recognized the sensation. It was much more subtle, uh, but I did recognize that familiar <laughs> um, sensation of labor. So I woke Brett and we called his mom to come to the house. Thank goodness she answered. I wasn't sure, but I did pack a bag. And arriving to our small mountain town hospital, I could tell the doctors were nervous. Uh, they had no way to care for these babies. I was 
three centimeters dilated. So it was a cold and really foggy early morning in January. What would have normally been a 15 or 20 minute helicopter ride turned into a one and a half hour ambulance ride. I was in labor. Arriving at the Sacred Heart Hospital in Spokane, I was given magnesium for the baby's lungs and steroids for their hearts. Labor did slow and I was able to stay on hospital bed rest for one week. <laughs> um, we were committed to the long haul. I had everything set up to be there for what we were hoping would be six to eight weeks. And when we had just relaxed and things settled down, my husband went home to go back to work. And that afternoon I went back into labor. Uh, both of these babies were sitting breech and they were so tiny. I headed in. Luckily my husband got there back in time and we headed in for an emergency cesarean. This is the time where we felt for sure we were thrown into this reality. We had no control over the outcome. What followed over the next few days was scary, but it was also really beautiful. Our families all rose to the occasion and took care of our older daughter day and night. Looking back on this, the fact that we got through this with grace was truly God's work. Uh, Brett was by my side at every moment on the cot by my bed every night. We were a family and we were going to do this together. I look back and I'm so proud of us for carrying each other through this difficult experience. This is what we do as parents and as partners. Splattering the paint on this canvas was cathartic. The energy coming out was all about letting go, embracing the, other, the unknown. I'm so proud of our family. This is the best therapy I could ever ask for. I hope you can feel it and also find a way to process old or new trauma. I thought truly that I'd processed this back in 2018 and I can't even believe how much more there was to unpack here. I've cried and so much more healing has taken place. Uh, I'm really realizing really over and over again the power of creativity and of letting go. This project will be for premature babies, their parents, and will help me to further process this emotional experience. I will contribute five videos, <laughs> creating a total of five artworks, along with hundreds of prints with a, with a personal message. These prints will be donated to the babies and their parents that are now in the same situation in the NICU. Rinske and I's hope is that it will bring support and a feeling of understanding and comfort. The original artwork, along with professional stock and canvas wrap prints, will be available for purchase on my website, and these will help fund the hundreds of prints that will be no donated back to the families in the NICU. Thank you so much for your love and support, and take great care. Bye.